Welcome to this complete Granada, Spain travel guide. Nestled at the foot of the Sierra Nevada mountains, Granada is a gem of Andalusian culture. With a rich history that spans thousands of years, it's a melting pot of Moorish art, flamenco rhythm and Spanish tradition. In this guide, we'll explore the breathtaking Alhambra Palace, wander through the General Life Gardens and lose ourselves in the narrow winding streets of the Albazin. So buckle up as we embark on an unforgettable journey through the heart of Andalusia. Our day begins at the stunning Alhambra Palace. A jewel of Moorish architecture, this palace complex, perched high above the city of Granada, whispers tales of a time when the region was ruled by the Nasrid dynasty. The Alhambra, or the Red One in Arabic, is a testament to the intricate craftsmanship of the Moors. Its delicate arches, ornate carvings and tessellated tiles are a feast for the eyes. Within the palace walls, the Court of the Lions is a must-see. This beautiful courtyard, with its famous lion fountain at the centre, is a symbol of the Moorish love for water and gardens. The Hall of the Ambassadors, the palace's grandest room, was once the throne room where sultans held court. Here, the ornate wooden ceiling represents the seven heavens of the Islamic cosmos. As we leave the Alhambra Palace behind, we venture into the lush General Life Gardens. Welcome to the verdant haven of the General Life Gardens. These lush gardens serve as a serene oasis within the bustling city of Granada, offering a tranquil escape that is steeped in history. Originally designed as a leisure area for the Nasrid kings, the General Life Gardens provide a glimpse into the past with their meticulously manicured landscapes and intricate Moorish architecture. As you wander through this verdant paradise, you'll be greeted by the fragrance of blooming flowers, the gentle rustling of leaves and the melodious songs of birds. The gardens are awash with colour, from the vibrant hues of roses and geraniums to the lush greens of towering cypress trees. But it's not just about the flora. The general life gardens are also home to stunning water features, including fountains and pools, which were an essential element in Islamic gardens. These water features add a sense of calm and tranquility to the setting, creating a soothing soundtrack to your exploration. From the peaceful gardens, we move on to the vibrant Albazin Quarter. Next, we explore the winding streets of the Albazin Quarter. This is the place where history comes alive, a testament to Granada's Moorish past. The Albazin Quarter, with its narrow alleyways and quaint white houses, is a labyrinth of stories waiting to be unraveled. It's said that if you don't get lost in its labyrinthine streets at least once, you haven't truly experienced Albazin. But worry not, getting lost here is more of a delightful detour than a dire predicament. As we meander through this historic quarter, we'll stumble upon the Mirador de San Nicolas, a viewpoint that offers a stunning panorama of Granada. Imagine standing here, the Alhambra and the Sierra Nevada mountains, painting a picture-perfect backdrop. It's a sight that makes even the most verbose of us lost for words. So buckle up and get ready to lose and find yourself in the captivating charm of the Albazin Quarter. From the bustling Albazin, we head to the pulsating heart of the city, the Granada Cathedral. We now find ourselves at the awe-inspiring Granada Cathedral. This grand edifice is a testament to the grandeur of Spanish Renaissance architecture with its soaring pillars reaching towards the heavens like giant hands in prayer. Each stone, each arch, each window tells a tale of meticulous craftsmanship that's hard to find in today's world. Next to the cathedral we find thus the Royal Chapel, an equally magnificent structure. Its beauty is not just skin deep. It houses the tombs of the Catholic monarchs Ferdinand and Isabella. Yes, the very same duo who sponsored Christopher Columbus's voyage to the New World. Quite the power couple, wouldn't you say? Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the irony here. Despite their regal status, the monarchs are forever entombed in the same spot with no chance of escape. Talk about an eternal family gathering, eh? Just goes to show, royal or not, no one can escape family drama even in the afterlife. The cathedral and chapel together form a beautiful harmony of architectural grandeur and historical significance. And a visit here is like stepping back in time, a journey into the heart of Spanish history and culture. A glimpse into the lives of those who once walked these hallowed halls. With our fill of royal history, we head to the lively Sacramonte neighborhood. Next up, we experience mm, the vibrant culture of the Sacramonte neighborhood. Tucked away in the hills of Granada, this neighborhood is known for its unique cave dwellings. Yes, you heard it right, homes carved into the hillside. 
These caves are not just remnants of history, but a thriving part of the present, housing a vibrant Roma community that has called these caves home for centuries. Sacramonte's charm doesn't stop at its unique architecture. It's also the heart and soul of Granada's flamenco scene. Flamenco, an expressive dance form that combines passionate movements, rhythmic guitar and soulful singing, is something that you won't want to miss. The performances here are not your typical tourist attractions. They are raw, authentic and intense. As for your flamenco dancing skills, don't worry. The locals are more than happy to share their moves, even if you have two left feet. Just remember, flamenco is all about feeling the rhythm in your heart, not about perfect footwork. So let loose, embrace the beats, and who knows, you might just surprise yourself. After all, in Sacramonte, it's not about being a spectator, but about immersing yourself in the culture, the music, and the dance. So don't be shy. It's your moment to shine under the Andalusian moonlight. After the flamenco show, it's time to head to the great outdoors at the Sierra Nevada National Park. Our journey concludes with the breathtaking beauty of the Sierra Nevada National Park. A true treasure trove of nature, the park is a haven for those who seek refuge from the urban hustle and bustle. The park's landscape is a visual symphony with the towering peaks of the Sierra Nevada mountains composing the grand finale. The park is home to a rich variety of wildlife. The Spanish ibex, a type of wild goat, can often be seen gracefully navigating the rugged terrain. And if you're lucky, you might even spot one of Spain's most elusive residents, the Iberian lynx. Just remember, if you do spot an ibex, you might want to give it a wide berth. They're known to be quite the agile climbers, but their skills in social etiquette leave much to be desired. Of course, the Sierra Nevada isn't just for sightseeing. For the thrill-seekers among you, the park offers a plethora of outdoor activities. In the winter months, the mountains come alive with skiers and snowboarders racing down the pristine slopes. During the summer, the park's many hiking trails become the main attraction. And for those of you who like to take life at a slower pace, the park's tranquil lakes provide the perfect setting for a spot of fishing or a leisurely paddle. If you're feeling particularly adventurous, why not tackle Mulhacen, the highest peak in mainland Spain? It's a challenging climb, but the panoramic views from the top are well worth the effort. Just remember to pack a good pair of hiking boots and maybe a Sherpa. In the heart of the park, you'll find the Albergue Universitario, a mountain refuge where you can rest your weary feet and refuel with some hearty local cuisine. Just be sure to leave some room for dessert. The churros are to die for. As the sun sets over the Sierra Nevada, we end our day in Granada. As the fiery hues of the sunset paint the sky, we're reminded of the incredible beauty that nature has to offer. And as we bid farewell to the Sierra Nevada, we're left with memories that will last a lifetime. What a day it's been in the enchanting city of Granada. We've marveled at the Alhambra Palace, strolled through the General Life Gardens, wandered the Albaycin Quarter, and taken in the view from Mirador de San Nicolas. We've also explored the Sacramonte neighborhood, admired the Granada Cathedral and Royal Chapel, and been dazzled by a flamenco show. Not to forget our adventure in Sierra Nevada National Park. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Granada, a city where history, culture and nature come together in perfect harmony.